Morning guys, uh, we're here at West just preparing a uh, lovo, Fijian uh, traditional food. Oh, Tongan food. Eh? No, nah, Fijian lovo. Samon, Samon, Samon. Come, 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 Another essential when you're doing one of these is either a good pair of jandals or just be a foot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is my mom. I'm just making uh, polisami. Yeah, other than the old, in, in the island day, fresh from, um, fresh from the coconut. This is the brand you want to be using when you're making this sort of stuff, eh? So it's, um, well, it's a Pacific uh, delicacy. It's made of taro leaves in uh, uh, coconut cream. And we just add some other stuff like lemon and onions to it. That's how the Fijians do it back home. If you want to grow up really big and strong, like so on here, that's what you need. <laughs> <laughs> Not too much. <laughs> Not too much. Oh, we call it ndalo. Samoan is ndalo. The tongue bro? Did you say ndalo? Yeah, ndalo. Oh, yeah. Some one way is sort of above ground, eh? so they use like the base is sort of corrugated iron, and then they sort of use like the banana trunks, the tree trunks, to like cube it off. But then at the end, you pull those away, and then there's just rocks on like a corrugated iron that are all heated up. Like, even the hole's the same size as my dad's house. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see, the, the rocks are turning white, it will start falling in, they'll start collapsing in for another half an hour, and yeah, it should be ready for the. Um, for the food to go on top. We're preparing um, chicken, lamb, and uh, polasami on the top with um, dalo. Can't wait. <laughs> what it means to be Samoan is um, probably just like the connection with family, um, being able to come back and connect. You see, doing, doing like a lovo or a umu in Samoan case. Um, doing it over food is always the best way, um, best way for you to connect with people. and. Um, connect with your culture. That's the best thing about being a Melanesian. Um, yes, cooking feeds like this for for families and stuff and getting together. Having oh, yeah. good physical attributes. <laughs> <laughs> um, apart from, you know, the food. <laughs> the food's always a big part, but <laughs> the people is um, pretty cool, you know. Um, Mate Maitonga's fans are very cool. Make you want to learn how to play league just to go <laughs> play for a crowd like that. <laughs> a bunch of proud people from the Pacific. Um, yeah, it's always nice to represent. Oh, so this will go on top of the rocks, um, so the food doesn't burn. Yeah, I think we usually just put it straight on the rocks. Hey, eh? <laughs> wedding bank blankets, pretty much. Just to turn into like a like a steam effect. Uh, Bit of a barbecue roast in the oven, but then a little bit of steam in there too, you know? Look at all the like, smoke that comes out of the side, that's sort of where they try to top it up with the, the dirt just to hold it down so it doesn't escape. Yeah, it's all uh, good waiting around the way, you know? <laughs> Usually you'd uh, be having a bit of a carver sesh right now too, wouldn't you? <laughs> nah. Have you ever been to Pacifica? Because I can't say I have, eh? <laughs> no, I've been there once, so eh? It's pretty mean, like all the cultures and stuff. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good, eh? The food and all that, but performances are nice too, just because it's not like holy face food. Yeah. <laughs> Chili vibes, all happy and Oh, we'll take it back to um, the HQ for the other, for the boys to have a feed now. Yeah. Maybe some cover next time, eh? <laughs> <laughs> See HQ. That's cool. 
done uh, preparing all the food. Got it all down here, chopped it all up. If you guys want a good feed like this, head down to Pacifica this weekend. <laughs> 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 <laughs>